Justin Horwich joined by Charlie Bernstein from Football Insiders to wrap up a dominant Patriots win on Thursday night football. Charlie, can you play quarterback? Because maybe you could start for the Patriots at quarterback next week. It doesn't seem to matter. Jacoby Brissett gets the start tonight, a rookie quarterback making a first career start, and he did exactly what the Patriots needed him to do. You know, I'm not a very good quarterback, <laughs> but I don't think Jacoby Brissett's a very good quarterback, <laughs> but it still works. Um, pretty unbelievable what that coaching staff is doing. I know Bill Belichick is going to get all the credit, but um, you know we have to start looking at Josh McDaniels, what he's done the last two years, really. And you know during this first three game stretch, it, it really reinforces the fact. You know Jimmy Garoppolo, I thought for the first two weeks maybe the NFL's MVP he looked that good, and then he goes down with the uh, with the hurt shoulder, and you're getting a, a third round rookie prepared to play. Uh, you know, in this type of situation against a very good defense in Houston. And, you know, they, they certainly, they play to their strengths. Uh, Brissett isn't a great thrower of the football, but he completed more than half of his passes. Uh, got some yards on the ground. Uh, was able to, to do enough, really, to keep him honest. And, you know, just basically let the rest of the team win the game. Now, as good as the Patriots coaching staff was, you would think Bill O'Brien, given his coaching history, would have had his Texans better prepared, but they looked flat, they looked sloppy, they looked tentative. Is he to blame for that very, very uninspired performance tonight by Houston? I, I think he's certainly part of the blame there. And, you know, uh, when you look at the guys off the Belichick coaching tree, not a whole lot of them had great success. Bill O'Brien goes into a, an interview and says, hey, I learned everything I know from Bill Belichick. Yeah, but he didn't teach you everything he knows. And, and I think that's a problem that we've seen. And, you know, these Houston Texans in big spots, you know, of course, we bring it back to last year's playoff game when they were blank 30 to nothing. You know, this was a big spot for them, kind of a prove it game after starting out 2-0. and And they completely laid an egg. And, you know, a lot of that is has to be on the quarterback, Brock Osweiler. So the Patriots go to 3-0. and They figure to win again next week with Buffalo coming to town. So when Tom Brady comes back, the Patriots are 4-0. and Is it crazy for me to say that the Patriots could go 16-0 and again? They, they really have one tough game at Pittsburgh uh, later in October. I mean, they, they did it once before. I don't think they end up going 16-0. and uh, I don't think it's a particularly great secondary and the offensive line isn't that good. And, you know, we're expecting Tom Brady to just come in week five and be great. And he probably will be great that week five they play the Cleveland Browns. And everybody seems to look great against the Cleveland Browns. But there's going to be a certain rust factor, I think. And timing has to get back with those wide receivers. So don't be surprised if the Patriots lose, you know, one, two, maybe three games the rest of the way. But... Pretty insane that they're going to have a, at least it looks like, they're going to have a better winning percentage with quarterbacks not named Tom Brady than quarterbacks named Tom Brady. Surely uh, you say don't be surprised if they lose a game or two, but really I, I would be surprised if they do lose a game or two given how good they've looked without Brady. And pretty impressive stuff so far. Absolutely. Patriots win again on Thursday Night Football. Charlie Bernstein, Football Insiders. Thanks a lot, Charlie. No problem. Thanks.